Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be vinyl wrapping parts on my Tesla. So I started out with the door handles and the emblems. I actually ended up vinyl wrapping the cap that goes over the lug nuts as well. I do not have that in the video unfortunately. That probably would have been the most intense part of it because it took me hours to do that. There's a lot of curves. It's not just flat edges like the emblems and the door handles. But first let's start on by taking off the old vinyl, which is very easy. If you need to give it a little heat to pull it off, do that. Uh, mine came off fairly easy, so I didn't need to do that. But remove it and then you'll start out by cleaning it really, really good. As you see here, I've got my alcohol and wipe. I think this is 80% isopropyl alcohol. And then you start out by cutting your vinyl to length. Now, this video is gonna be more of a what not to do video <laughs> with vinyl, because I think I should have done a little bit more research before doing this. I ended up doing all the things that you shouldn't do with chrome vinyl. And as you can see, I went with a chrome gold right here. And first you wanna start by just working the heat on your body first. So put it on there flat, start rubbing it down with your fingers. Your body heat will naturally start making it form. As you can see here, this is the first thing I did wrong. I used way too much heat on it. I didn't remove the film at this point that's over the top of the vinyl, which is good, but I ended up doing that. So like I said, I did everything wrong with this first prep and go. But by the time I did all the rest of the door handles, I actually had a pretty good grasp on it. Now with chrome vinyl wrap, the things to remember is that you don't wanna do this very often. So as you can see here, I'm pulling it back and stretching it. Look at those lines right there. So those lines don't come out. Even if you heat up the vinyl again, it'll actually leave those lines in there because it's chrome. Now, if you're just doing like a satin black or a matte black, it's not gonna show up as much as it does in this section. But for me, I was doing the chrome, which apparently is the toughest vinyl to start out with. So I'm not sure why I decided to go with it, but well, I do know why I decided. It looks really, really good, especially on the, the black and the gray. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm smoothing out the door handle again because you know I showed you the wrong way. This is close to the right way. I think I lost a take that was the best door handle, but as you can see here, I'm just using my finger. I've got the protective film over the top of it. So there's a plastic cover over the chrome vinyl wrap right here and I left it on. Now, the best thing to do with this is not to stretch it if you don't have to. And if you have to stretch it, make sure you don't put a lot of heat on it or if any heat at all. And in order to stretch this vinyl though, you're going to have to take off that plastic film to work with it. So there's that plastic film that I'm talking about. I probably should have waited a little bit longer to take it off in this one, but I needed to work the edges down so you can see it's starting to form around the door handle and once again I used a little too much heat here this is probably not as bad to use heat but you can see it kind of starting to roll up this wasn't the most perfect vinyl wrap since it was my very first time doing it and so I know that there's going to be a lot of criticism for that I ended up with a little bit of you know bubbles not necessarily in the door handles but on the lug nut covers but unless you're like putting your face right up to it, you really don't see it. So just keep working around the edges. Get it as much in the indent as you possibly can. The tools that I ended up using were just tools I got off of Amazon. Uh, pretty cheap tools. It came with an X-Acto knife that you can break off the ends. Extremely sharp, very fine tip so that you can get in to the cracks and crevices. This is probably my favorite tool. It's just a, a, a really malleable but tough plastic piece. And then it's got almost a suede part on the other side that, so that you can slide it. If you're doing the handles on your Tesla, it's really not a big deal though. You're not gonna have to use too many of the tools because you have a lot to work with, but the back part of the handle is where it gets a little bit tricky to fold in. Before I started this project though, I actually almost ended up wanting to wrap the entire door handle. And that really just doesn't make sense at the end of the day. There, there's some that you can buy off the internet that'll wrap the door handle completely, but it ended up working out really well with just putting it around here. 
Now, once again, you can see that I'm using a lot of heat on there. Now I had the heat set on that particular gun to about 250 degrees. A lot of people use it on really high heat. So like 400 to 600, but they'll only hit it for a couple seconds and then work with it really quick. As it starts to cool off, it'll form more and more to the object that you're putting it on. So this stuff becomes very, very sticky, especially this Chrome one. I actually ended up getting this off of Amazon. It cost me, I think, $9 and it actually ended up working for all the lug nuts or well lug nut covers and then all the door handles and the emblems i had a perfect amount of vinyl i even had a little bit left over so the front emblem i didn't do the best job on so i'll probably go back through and redo that at some point but for now you know it turned out pretty great now, as you can see, you wanna slowly work your blade around. You don't wanna to be too quick and you wanna make sure that you're giving enough of the space in there to wrap it around the door handle. And then you start peeling it off. Now, this is what I'm talking about as far as it gets really sticky. It's coming off in pieces because chrome vinyl will tear really, really easy. So once again, hardest vinyl to work with. So you'll wanna make sure that if you're doing chrome vinyl that maybe you practice on a few things before the other things that weren't ideal for this video and uh, for this vinyl wrap was it was super cold in utah i think that night it was probably about 18 degrees ended up snowing um, my car actually wasn't as clean as it should be you can see the big area that i used alcohol on because there was snow on the ground i got salt on it not sure why I ended up deciding to do the video when I did, but you, if you do it, make sure that you have a lot better circumstances and environments to do it. I hear that having about a 70 degree environment is probably the best as far as doing this. Um, in my garage, it was about 41 degrees. So it's a little bit warmer than most garages, but still not ideal for this. So make sure you clean the areas way around it too. If you notice, when I sprayed the alcohol, I did a massive portion of the door panel because I wanted to make sure it was clean for that. Now I'm speeding this up. This is a really, really bendable plastic, um, well, more like a rubber tool that you can go in between the cracks. So this forms really, really well to the edges. You don't have to worry about pushing really hard with this because like I said, it's more malleable and it's a really, really good tool to use. To finish it off, you can see I, I pulled the door handle out and just worked it with my thumbs. You don't necessarily need to use the tools. Now here's the emblem. Look, you can see how dirty it is when I'm talking about how dirty it is, right? I didn't wipe it off yet because I'm pulling off the old vinyl. Um, I'm hitting it with the heat at the exact same time that I'm pulling it off of there. And then this is my alcohol. So I spray it. I actually wiped it down a lot more than you see on here too but I just give a good example of like, hey, you wanna make sure you go around all the edges. Now take your cut piece of vinyl. If I were to go back and redo this or when I do, I think what I would have done is I would have worked around the first flat surface and then taken that plastic tool and worked it around the edges down to the very bottom so it would go a little bit more flat. The heat will stretch it around that, but remember when you're working with chrome, you don't necessarily wanna to use too much heat. This is where the fine detail comes into. And there's also this these uh, detailing strips that you can get off of Amazon or detail string almost. And you put it under the vinyl and then leave a little spot for you to get it out. I kind of wish I would have had the, the detail strips because it would have made doing the emblem a lot easier. But as you can see, I start out by just really working it in with my fingers. It's amazing what your body heat can do to work that. I still have the plastic cover over, but once again, using a lot of heat. If I were to go back and do this again, I wouldn't use as much heat, but I had it on a very, very low heat, so it didn't diminish the look of the gold chrome very much. But you can see I'm working through the fine details first. I wanted to make sure I stretched out the fine details there because it's really easy to work around everywhere else. So just scraping it down speeding it up a little bit you guys don't need to see me work on that too much but just really really work it out after doing the vinyl though i could see why people pay people to do this because 
it's very time consuming and I could only imagine doing it to the entire body of the Tesla because it would take a lot of work, a lot of detail. You would need somebody else to help you stretch the vinyl over. It's not necessarily ideal. And so as you keep, you know, working with it, you'll get better and better at it. As you can see here too, I'm actually stretching it. Um, I'm stretching it with that film on. You're not gonna get as much pull as you would. I think you get about 15 to 20% of the pull. Um, but I'm even, you know, I cut it out with the X-Acto knife. I'm pulling it off. And it's coming off really, really nicely. Like, look at this. This is a much, much better job. A lot less fine work than when I did the front emblem. And I don't even want to show that because it was such a mess up. I was right by the entrance of the garage. It was super cold. Ruined a lot of the vinyl. I ended up actually sticking some of the vinyl to the front emblem. And uh, it just didn't turn out good. So that's why I'm going to redo it. But I'm showing you the good one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. This isn't a tutorial by any means. Hopefully it helps somebody out. But this was my first time. Thought I would record it because it's a neat thing. And I uh, figured you guys would want to see what I'm doing with my Tesla. And that it can be done at home. This is something that you can definitely do. But it'll take hours. So make sure you section it out.